every two stroke is going to have a pump of some sort. Some of these pumps are driven off of a, a throttle cable. So, so keep in mind, not all the bikes are going to have cables like this. Um, I am teaching Paul how to mop the floors. We should strap a GoPro to the mop handle looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> See, it says injector or premix. Use your best judgment. If you want to make sure you know exactly what your bike's getting, do this. I'll give you my mother's maiden name and my social security number for a bum. So I can't, I can't refund any money for this just due to the fact that it's... If you are going to mix your own oil, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix, it's a, the ratio that you use is 32 to one. So what you're gonna do is say if you fill up a one gallon can with fuel, you're gonna dump this in because here's your ratio. GN2 is what Honda sells. That's really good for a stock bike. It's just, that's a really high quality oil. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying, I've done this for a long time. Okay. Hearing Paul is all you have to do is, Paul! <laughs> I've got a Honda, a really beat up rough motor just for prototyping here. Um, this is a AF16 Honda motor. First off, this is your oil pump right here. Okay, this is your 9401 Honda Elite. This is gonna be similar to your Honda Spree, your Honda Aero. Uh, Aero 125, Aero 80, your Honda Dio. Every two stroke is gonna have a pump of some sort, okay? The, you have an SR50, it's gonna be an electric pump. If you have uh, a Piaggio, it's gonna be fed off of a belt on the transmission side. The theory is all the same. If you have an Elite like that, it's gonna be like this. If you have a Prebug or a Yamaha Zuma, whether it's a horizontal or vertical, it's gonna be like this. And I don't have a pump to show you and I'm not, I don't have none of these bikes in here are, are auto injection still. So this one you're gonna have to kind of bear with me and understand, kind of get a believe button out or whatever because I don't have a pump on that one but the theory is the same. The benefit of having your oil pump is you don't have to mix your fuel, okay? You don't have to mix your oil and fuel. Some of these pumps are driven off of a, a throttle cable, okay? So when you give it gas, that's gonna give you more oil. So as your motor's spinning, this pump is spun off a, a gear that spins off the crank. As you pull the throttle, you're gonna get more oil, okay? So that's what that's doing. At idle, it's gonna sit there, wide open throttle, you're gonna get more oil. It's gonna change the ratio based on your throttle. That's how the Hondas work. Not all the Hondas work like this, okay? The restricted Hondas, they don't have a cable, okay? It's just the pump's gonna be sitting here with no cable. The Elite S is gonna have a cable. So, so keep in mind, not all the bikes are gonna have cables like this. Um, the Yamaha Zuma, the pump sits down in here, inside of this guy, okay? The pump sits right here, comes down to a gear, and it spins off this crank. So like I said, there's a gear in here. I don't have this pump, but it's the same theory. The way that you would delete the oil pump and every motor is gonna be a little bit different, but if you can use hand tools and you know how to take things apart, you're not gonna have a problem. If you can't use hand tools and you can't take things apart, don't do this project, but. I think if you're here watching this, you should be able to do it. Downsides of the oil um, injection pumps is they can fail. I have seen them fail. What happens when they fail? Your cylinders toast, you can ruin your bearings. Um, basically you can cause anywhere from 200 to $1,000 in damage, depending on what bike you have, what parts you're running, this and that. So it is a level of, uh, of failure, okay? Also with these types of pumps, you need to run oil that is made for auto injection. And the reason being is the oils made for auto injection are thinner and they make it through the pump better. If you run a really thick, heavy oil that's only for premix, the odds that you're going to get enough oil to your cylinder and your, loop, your parts need lubrication are very, very low. So run the right oil if you're running an injection system on your bike. Can't stress that enough. What, what, what are you doing? What are you, what are you Sean? What, what's I'm going on? I'm getting stoned, by the way. It's all right. I am teaching Paul how to mop the floors. And then earlier I gave him a lesson. I said, if I ever give you a horrible job, I want you to remember this as I was scraping a smashed gummy bear or gum off the floor with an X-Acto knife on the ground. I said, every Damn, Pat. Just Whoa, why are you yelling at me? All right. All right, do you get this? I get it. So you think so you can handle it? scrub it, put it in yeah. here, get it wet, squeeze it out, scrub it again. Handle like a broom. Got it? Yeah.
do it. Dang. Clean it up in here. Teaching these youngins how to do. You even cleaned out the, the crack dust. Damn, the hands. crack dust. Sleeping all the crack <laughs> dust. I found a roller, some screws, yeah. wrist pin bearing. There's a jet. I popped it out of there. So the cracks we got. This is a, cr uh, this is a clean crack. crack facility. Clean cracks. Organic crack. Yeah, organic crack. Oh, yeah. See, there's a... Dang, Paul. Hey, don't record me doing this in case I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Come on, bro. I want to see your mop skills. You got to put your back into it. You got to put pressure. You got to use two hands. We should strap a GoPro to the mop handle looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Next time. We could do it right now. That's seven eighths. Just put a little bar clamp on there. Do it. Now we'll go over the benefits of pre-mixing with this over here. So the benefits of pre-mixing is you're eliminating, you're eliminating the risk, right? Because you know that you don't have a pump. You know that the pump's not gonna fail. It's not gonna be something that's gonna give out on you. And you're not gonna know it and it's just gonna blow up, right? So you always know what you're getting. I would venture to say there's probably about the same amount of oils as far as injection and, and premix like here. See, it says injector or premix. So some of the stuff you can use for both, some you can use for one, but, but it's good to keep that in mind with the oil that you're buying. Don't run, well, we've all done it, the chainsaw oil that's been sitting in your uncle's, you know, freaking wood barn since 1925. Don't run that stuff, guys. Oils are so good now. I think back then the ratio, I think even in the 80s, the ratio had to be like in the 20s, like 20, it was like 20 to one, but now the oils are so much better that you can run a lot less oil compared to how they used to be in the past. So the oils have gotten, the oils have gotten really, really good. Back then it, it was just, the technology was not there. It's gotten a lot better. So this is going to uh, allow you to get a better mix, knowing what your mix is. And this simply, if you do a big work hit and whatnot, you're not gonna get enough oil. It's gonna, you're gonna be right on that fine line of whether or not you're getting enough oil or not. So you eliminate that completely by doing this. The downfall is every time you fill up, you need to do this. You need to carry this with you. You need to carry oil. So there is a downfall, um, but I don't own a single bike that's auto injection except my wife's Baja, and that was a test to see if it would work, and it has, but it's a very mild setup. Doesn't get, I mean, it does get ridden hard, but it, it has worked on auto injection. It's been going on like four or five years. Like I said, use your best judgment. If you want to make sure you know exactly what your bike's getting, do this, and don't, don't do the pump, just get rid of it, so.